Norway, the home base for the infamous Quran burner. After my legendary confrontation, I was left with so many questions like, what exactly is a killer zombie? Muslims are killer zombies. Killer zombies. Killer zombies. Just like zombies. Killer zombies. That's an interesting one, ladies and gentlemen. We heard it here first right now. A killer zombie, all right? Tell us what's a killer zombie. Um. Why is Lars so obsessed with the Bhangra? But this only brought me closer to my real question. Do Norwegians actually support the Quran burning? You're not a Muslim. So why are you against this? It's the right thing to do. Eh? You're not Muslim, right? No. That, you're not Muslim, no. no, right? You're not Muslim. Why are you against this then? We respect religion and freedom. Okay. Why, why are you against it? You're not a Muslim. It's not okay to uh, be like this. Yeah? Uh -huh. are, you, are you ladies Muslim? Yeah. You are? You're Muslim? Yes. You're Muslim? I'm not. You're not Muslim. Then why are you here? Because I want to support. Uh, are you guys Muslim? No, no, no. no. Then why are you here? To support them. Yeah? They're yeah. f***ing stupid. I was on a mission to get to the bottom of this. Let me ask you this question. For example, if he liked to burn Qurans and stuff like that, would that be considered freedom of speech? Yes, uh, in Norway now, 2022. Really? That's, yeah. But, but if they burn the Koran, if it can uh, hurt some buildings or something, we, uh, can, do, we can take the fire out. Got you, yeah. got you. So, so, so it would be dangerous from the perspective of that the building or some property might get destroyed, but freedom of speech-wise, according to Norway, that's okay. Yeah, they can burn uh, the Quran, yeah. Or any holy book, or yeah, anything that because, they want. Because we, we think that uh, the, the Bible and everything is uh, it's a book, uh, uh, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so, mm. But we, we know and we respect that uh, for people, the Muslims and other religions, that yeah. it's, uh, it's important to them. Yes. I mean, we understand that, yes. but uh, in Norway you can burn the book, yeah. So, so even though like you personally don't like it, even though you personally are, like you don't like that idea, but according to the law, you could do it. Uh, they, they can do it as long as they don't uh, hurt the buildings and mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's uh, dangerous for things around. Wow. So a tree or a building is more important than Muslim lives. Got it. But surely this average Norwegian Karen will have something positive to say about Islam. Targeting Muslims and Islam, you don't consider that to be racism? No. In Norway, we can uh, criticize uh, religion. Okay. So you, do you support this type of behavior? I support uh, these people's uh, rights. Could it be true that as he lights up another Quran, that he's only exercising his freedom of speech? They're saying that it's freedom of speech for him to burn a Quran. But we feel like that's wrong. Why is that wrong? Because it's hate against yes. the religion. It is wrong. It's dumb just to go hate someone who didn't do you anything, you know? It's not freedom to burn the Quran. Yes. It's not freedom. Exactly. We cannot burn the LGBTQ flag, but they can burn the Quran. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. Right? And notice that he wouldn't do that as well. Yeah, I know. He wouldn't do it. He's only picking on the Muslims because of the minority. I know. Or is he cowardly hiding behind a loophole that he continues to exploit, allowing him to burn the Quran? The thing he's doing, it's literally a hate crime and I don't like it. I don't like him and I don't support him at all. It just makes me really mad. Yeah. It's just so disrespectful because uh, everything he's uh, saying about Islam is like the same arguments can be used against Christianity. Wow, very good point. So what do you say to the people that it's okay to burn a Quran? Do you think it's okay to burn a Quran? No, no. Or any religion. And by, by the way, not a Bible, not a Torah, any religion, you shouldn't do that to them. No. So it's clear, the average Norwegian does not support the burning of the Quran. But it's time to find out, what do they know about Islam? Since you have Muslim friends, what do you know about Islam? They tell us a lot about it. Yeah, they talk a lot about uh, what they support. Yeah. It's, it's a belief. Tell me one thing about Islam that you know. Uh, they don't eat bacon. Uh, yeah, definitely not. No. How many times a day do we pray? You, you're cheating! You're cheating! You're cheating! What do you know about Islam? Uh, not some uh, things I have learned from school and stuff, and I don't really know what to say. Isn't it important for you to also, without this, without this, to actually find out on your own what about Islam, right? Yes. Yeah, because we, we have to know about what he's saying, and I say the people who are unaware, they're scared of what they don't know. Do you know that in Islam, what you guys are doing is exactly the right thing to do? Because the Prophet Muhammad was an anti-racist. He was against racism, blatantly. In Islam, we're not allowed to even degrade someone else's book. So what he's saying and accusing Muslims are being nasty for, he's actually doing that.
I didn't know that. Yes, Muslims are actually not. It is our responsibility to stop racism. So what you guys are doing right now by even coming out, even though it's not your religion, is what Islam teaches. There's a narration where it says, no white is better than a black, and no Arab is better than a non-Arab. We are all equal in the sight of God. Do you understand? The only thing, the only thing that differentiates us is our consciousness of Him. And that's between us and Him. Only He knows that. But amongst each other, we're all equal. Did you know that before? No, uh, I'm actually reading uh, uh, the, the book right now. You're reading the Quran right now? Yeah, well, it's difficult because I'm reading in, uh, in English and I'm not very good in English. You're not very good in English. So you would need like a Norwegian Quran? Yeah, perhaps. Okay. Did you know that in Islam we believe that Adam, who's like our father for all of humanity, yes, right? Yes. When God created Adam, he took all the pieces of the clay from all over the earth. So we come from all the colors because God took uh, clay from all parts of the land. You understand? Yes. So we are all brothers and sisters in humanity. You understand? Yes. So Islam teaches us to be unified. He's preaching hate, and that's something Islam is not against. And I think anyone knows that this guy is on something else right now. Yeah. That's why we're building a mosque and Dawah Center to educate more people such as yourself who are anti-racist because Islam doesn't teach this. The thing that he's saying is wrong and is hateful is what he's doing. The religion doesn't do this at all. Now that we've explained Islam to these people, it's time to view the average Norwegian as a potential Muslim. These people are, this is all, these are all potential Muslims and that's what we gotta understand. And this is why we're building a Dawah center and masjid in the country of Norway. This is why we need it over here. If this isn't a big enough appeal to you, I don't know what it is guys, click the link in the bio and donate whatever you can because there's genuinely good people over here who are here to support the truth and are against racism and have values that are aligned with Islam because that's what this is. It's an alignment with Islam. So donate, click the link right now. Join this historical, historical project with me and Islamnet and donate right now. Let's make this happen. So it's time to take a deeper dive. Why is the average Norwegian against the Quran burning? Well, why do you gotta be against this? What's wrong with this? Because it's wrong. You're saying racism, fake news. It's all fake, it's not real. Because you have Muslim friends, right? You know Muslims and what he's saying about Muslims is not what they believe. No. What's so stupid about the what they're racists. doing? Yeah. It's it's 2022. Who's yeah. racist now? Uh, have you met this Norwegian Karen yet? This is Norway. We have yeah. a democracy and we are fighting for it. By burning Qurans? Yes. Why not? It is a book. Yes. It is a book that is very meaningful and close yes. to billions of people. Yes, but this is still Norway. It in doesn't Norway. make it right. This Karen's like the Norwegian ISIS. Let's go back to some sane, normal Norwegians. These are smart. He's because he's He isn't. He isn't. Uh, you guys are funny. He isn't treated well. You guys. Because his mother didn't didn't grow him up well. Now yes. He's Sian because he's, he's in his head. <laughs> Clearly, they're very upset. He wants to deport all the Muslims back to their countries. What are your thoughts about that? I just think it's really stupid. What does that mean to go back to your countries? If you were born here, isn't this your country? Yes, it is. Exactly. It is. And if you if you are born or just grew up here or just live here, you sh you have the right to live here. here and be here and have jobs here. And if you pay the rent and have a job here, you are no, we you, ha you have the right to be here. Yes. And according to him, if you're basically not white and you're a Muslim, you need to go. I just think that's stupid. It's very stupid. It's and it's hateful. Stupid. Where's the line between hate and freedom of speech? When you stop uh, respecting people? Yeah. Because I could come and say something about your mom and it'll be, oh, it's freedom of speech. But then you might be free to slap me across my face because I'm talking about your mom. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? There needs to be a line between, is your freedom of speech harming someone? Is it being personal? Especially if you said, yo, bro, stop. And I'm like, nah, I keep going. Then there needs to be a consequence for that freedom. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And burning someone's religious text, not even Muslim. It could have been the Bible, the Torah, or anything like that is wrong. Agree? Yes, I'm Christian, and I believe in freedom. And let me tell you something right now. If he was doing that to the Bible, you would see me here as well, because that's wrong. Right? Amen. Yeah.
And there's a line between hate speech and freedom of speech. If you know what you're saying is harming and hurting someone, you'd be like, oh, oh, chill, my fault, I didn't know. But you know it harms them, so you do it more. That's a bad intention. So it's clear that the Quran burning hurts all of us. But if it's time to mobilize and motivate the Muslim youth of Norway. But you know, I want to tell the Muslims, the young Muslims out there watching as well, what's worse than the Quran burning is the Muslims who don't read the Quran. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Who don't apply the Quran. You get what I mean? He might burn the Quran or whatever, but for us, it's more important for us to be reading that book, applying it, and praying our five daily prayers. You get me? That's more important to us. He might burn that, but we've memorized it. But what about the fact of the Muslims who are just ignoring the Quran? They're not praying the Salah. That's more important than this, you understand? We need to have a better, stronger connection with the Quran. You get what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Memorizing it, preserving it, because he could, he could burn that. But guess what? We've memorized it, so it doesn't even matter. We need to be better. You, you get what I mean? And our success lies in obeying Allah and the book that he's against. We need to follow that. You get what I mean? I get it. Yo, I get I appreciate it. you guys. Yo, you got some real ones. I appreciate y'all. The Norwegians are good people. And it's our duty and obligation to share this message of Islam with them. So let's build this Dawah Center and Masjid to help educate them and earn the rewards of Allah. And until next time, I'm out. They know, they know, they know. Uh, what do you guys know about Islam? Not much. Nothing. Not much? Uh, I'm not sure. What do you know about Islam? I think that face says it all. They know.